Hey friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from TechVirus and in this video I'll be doing the unboxing and review of new Kingston hard drive that is A400. This is a solid state hard drive SSD and the capacity is 240 GB and this will cost you around 7200 Indian rupees. Now let me quickly unbox this device and show you like how is the build quality and the performance. Alright, so this is Kingston A400 and you can see that the design looks good. The build quality is also great, like it looks like it is made up of metal and uh, you can see that back they have the sticker which says 240 GB made in Taiwan and also it has got 3 years of warranty. And apart from this, we have two ports on this SSD, one is for the power and another one is for the data. Alright, now it's time to install this SSD in my PC and check how is the performance. And just to tell you that installation of this SSD is really simple. You just have to plug the power and the SATA cable and it is all ready to go. Alright, now you can see that I have three hard drive which is pre-installed on my PC. First one is the Samsung SSD, the second one is the Fire CUDA which is from Seagate and the third one is Western Digital Black Edition. So what I will do, I will remove the Fire CUDA hard drive and I will replace it with this Kingston SSD. And then I will be doing the test like how much time does it take to copy from Kingston to another drive and from another drives to Kingston. And also I'll do the comparison with a software called ASSSD. All right, now we are done with the hardware setup and here you can see that I have all the three drives installed on my PC. Now let me take you to the screen recording mode and here you can see that this is my Windows 10 PC and if I open my computer, you can see that there is a new drive which is called new volume and this is the Kingston A400 SSD. And on the left, the C drive is the Samsung SSD and the D drive is the Western Digital Black Edition. It's a normal hard drive. Now before doing the test, let me rename all the drives so that it's easy for you to understand like from which drive I'm copying to which drive. So on the right, it's Kingston SSD, then Western Distant Black Edition and then the Samsung SSD. I've renamed everything. Now it's time to open a simple stopwatch to calculate that the time how much it is taking to copy file or a folder from one drive to another. Now here you can see that I'm going into my Western Distant Black Edition hard drive and I would be copying this game folder which is approximately 8.7 GB and it has got 114 files. Now here you can see that I'm copying this folder from my Western Digital Black Edition hard drive. This is normal hard drive and I would be copying into the Kingston, the new Kingston SSD. Now I'll start the stopwatch and I'll click paste. So we can reduce like one or two seconds because it took that much of time to press the paste button. All right, now here you can see that this is the copy speed from my Western Digital Black Edition normal hard drive to Kingston. So you can see that the Kingston write speed is approximately touching 170 Mbps and it's like fluctuating down to 80 or 90 Mbps. And it took almost approximately one minute 10 seconds to copy. Now let me copy the same game folder to another drive that is from Kingston to my Samsung SSD. So here is the Samsung SSD and I'm clicking on start and paste. Now here you can see that the speed is really fast here. It is going up to 345.50 MB per second. And this is way faster than what we have seen in the last copy. But here one thing you need to note is like the copy and the paste, both source and destination is SSD. Like source is Kingston and destination is Samsung SSD and by this speed you can understand the read speed of Kingston is really good as well as the write speed of Samsung. So we don't have any issues in reading from Kingston and the writing is as expected. So it took only 32 seconds to copy. Now what I'll do, I'll copy from Samsung and then paste it in Kingston. So I'll see how is the read speed of Samsung SSD and the write speed of Kingston. So now here you can see that the writing is a bit slow compared to the Samsung. It's uh, going to 300 Mbps compared to the 400 Mbps which was in Samsung. But again, we have to understand one thing like maybe the possibility is like the Samsung read speed is slow. That is why the Kingston write speed is not going up to the maximum speed. So it all depends upon both the SSDs. But here also you can see the speed is very consistent and it took approximately one minute and three seconds to complete the copy. Okay, 
So after doing all these things, let us summarize and see like what is the end result. Now to transfer 8.7 GB of folder, it took 1 minute 14 second from Western Digital Hard Disk to Kingston SSD. Now from Kingston SSD to Samsung, it took only 32 seconds and from Samsung SSD to Kingston, it took 1 minute 4 seconds. Alright, now we are in the final test of these SSDs and we are using AS SSD benchmarking tool and let us first check like what is the speed or the score for Kingston A400 SSD. So here you can see that I have selected 1 GB of file block and it's doing for sequence then 4K then 4K 64 thread and then access time. So it's like checking everything for Kingston hard drive and on top you can see that the read speed is 463.86 mbps and write is 383 mbps and after completing entire test you can see the score we are getting is 932 that means the read is 385 and the write is 341 now i'll change the drive to samsung ssd so here is samsung evo 250 gb which i have already told that this is my primary ssd and here you can see that the sequence read and write speed is coming to 489 mbps and 474 mbps respectively now in the 4k segment also it is showing a 67 write speed and the read speed is going approximately to 32 to 33 mbps all right now let's see for the 4k 64 thread and the access time calculation is going on and this is done so here you can see that the score for the read and write is more than the read and write for our kingston ssd overall score for samsung is 1047 and the kingston is 932 now based upon these scores you can understand that the kingston ssd is a bit slower than samsung but one thing to note that the Kingston hard drive is 2000 cheaper than the Samsung one. So overall, I would rate Kingston as a good SSD at 7500 Indian rupees. Alright friends, so this was my complete review for Kingston A400 SSD. I hope you liked it. If you want to purchase this SSD, I have given the link in the description to buy from Amazon. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.